Hello! Today I want to show you how to make a simple scoreboard on Adobe Flash Pro CC 2014 with ActionScript 3. As a beginner, I had a hard time to find a demo script to make a scoreboard, but eventually I managed to figure it out. So first, take a look at my simple scoreboard game, which doesn't do a lot except for giving me points for clicking on the red button, like so, and subtracting points for clicking on the green button like so as well you could see how to carry the score from one scene to another throughout the game so let's start with the game to save time I already made scene 1 and scene 2 as well I created the necessary buttons as I'm assuming that you know how to do this basic stuff so let's start. First, let's position the buttons on the board. Let's do the red button, which is going to be called OK button. And then put the green button, which is going to be the wrong button. The next thing we have to do, we have to make sure in the properties that the buttons are really buttons and not a movie clip or graphic, just a button. And also we need to give them the instance name. So the OK button will be called OK button. And the green button which is the wrong button, we're going to call the wrong button. Again, make sure it's a button and not something else. So let's add another button. This is the arrow button. Um, this button is just going to take us to the next scene. This is so we can see how this score move from one scene to another and how to do that. Also, this is a button. We have to make sure in the properties that it is a button and also we have to give it a name and we're going to give it a name go to next. Last but not least, let's add a text box where we want the score to be displayed. So clicking on the text tool adding a text box. Let's add a few zeros just to have a placeholder until um, the number is ready to be displayed. And there you go, we position it. The last thing we want to do about the text box is to make sure that it's a dynamic text. Also, we have to give it an instance name and we're going to call it the Core. and we also need to embed the text and making sure that this check mark is on we're gonna ok that and we're done with that the next thing we want to do is to open the actions window and it's ready for us to put the codes and so let's put the first three lines of codes in and it would be this variable score so we creating a variable name score we already putting a value in the score we saying score is equal 100 you can put any number in the here you can put zero or any other number if you like to start the game with whatever number you like the third line of code is the displaying the value that we enter into the score. So that would be this score is the name of this um, text box. And we putting the score, which is already 100, inside the text box. The next thing we want to do is to tell the buttons that we want them to add points or to reduce points and this is how we do it first of all we type two lines of code 
the OK button is the red button, we call, that's how we call it, and also the wrong button, which is the green button, and each one we tell them to listen to the mouse clicks, waiting for the mouse clicks, and then when a mouse click happened, they have to go to on press 1 or on press 2. These are location on the script so that we're going to add shortly. The next thing we do, we're adding two functions. One is press 1 and press 2. These are two functions that are corresponding to the mouse click. So every time you click on the OK button, the red button, you would go to function called on press 1. And when you click on the green button, you would go to function called on press 2. And what happens inside these functions is when you click on the OK button, you would get plus 100 points. And then it's going to display that. And if you click on the green button, the wrong button, it would take you to on press 2 and it will deduct 20 points, minus 20, and then it's going to display that. We also want to add a stop over here, so it would not automatically take you to the next scene before you finish with the clicking on the scores. The last thing we want to do on this stage is to program the arrow to take us to the next scene. So this is what we do. We use this code. Go to next was the name of this arrow. And it's taking you to the next function, which is called next scene 2. And um, you would have to have this code in order to go to the next scene, which is scene 2. Before we move on to the next one, we just have to make sure that we have a close brackets over here since when you have an open bracket you always have to close it and we had to close this line of code now we're going to take care of scene 2 so let's scroll here to scene 2 and we notice that we still don't have the scoreboard over here and since we want to move the score with us as we're playing the game, let's go to scene 1. And we're just going to click on copy. And then we move to scene 2. And we're going to click on paste in place. So it will drop exactly at the same place, at the same location as the previous scene. Also notice when we paste this scoreboard text, it's also brought with it the instance name. And that is necessarily to continue bringing the score results with you as you go with the game. Now we're going to type the last code for this game. And that is the code that display the score on the board. And we're going to type the stop. We want the game to stop here. We don't want to go into loop forever and ever. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's test the game. Let's go to the control test. The game's come up. We already have our first 100 points. And if we're clicking on the red button, we're going to get 100 points for each time we click. And if we're clicking on the wrong button, the green one, uh, we're going to have 20 points deduction on every click. Now, if we click on the green button, which is going to take us to the next scene, we see the text and the scores right here.